AC2RV back again with a little short update video. Um, I, uh, I'm fresh from field day up in Vermont, and uh, after unpacking the car, I decided to test out one of my little theories here. Uh, this is the All Star RTCM unit. I have the top plate off. This is the top plate so that I can access the inside of the unit. As I discussed in the previous video, um, you need to clock this unit to uh, a more stable source that will make it suitable, suitable for simulcast. And I was going to experiment with an oven controlled oscillator. This oscillator is a Symmetricom. It's used 9.6 megahertz sine wave oscillator. And it, uh, it was about $13 on eBay. I actually bought a pair of them. Um, you can trim them electrically. Apparently, whoever bench tested this wrote 5.07 volts on it. So I actually haven't, um, looked at the frequency yet. But, uh, what I was reading was that, or I should say, I was reading, I was getting conflicting information on whether you needed a, a clock in order to clock this externally if you needed a square wave or a sine wave input to the pick. According to the PICS um, specification, you can use a sine wave. So I decided to give it a try. So anyway, I removed the crystal. This is the crystal that they use. It's hard to see, but it's 9.6 megahertz crystal. It used to reside where this yellow wire goes. This yellow wire goes right over there where the crystal used to be. So I soldered it onto the uh, where the crystal uh, actually um, produces its output, and which goes into the pick. And uh, I've connected it to the uh, the oven oscillator. And oh, the ground just came off. Darn it! Now let me connect the ground back up. Ah. There she goes. So anyway. Um, you can tell it's actually running because the, uh, the heartbeat light is blinking. If you disconnect the crystal, the heartbeat light stops because the processor stops running because it no longer has a clock. So this is actually working correctly on this external oscillator. So this external oscillator runs off at of 12 volts. I have it connected to a supply power supply and they usually run around 13. If you run this on anywhere above 12 and a half volts or higher, um, it'll be not. It won't be as stable. It needs to have 12 and a half volts, really. Between, I'd say anywhere between 11.8 and 12 and a half. So I'm gonna have to use something to uh, to regulate that down. In fact, what is it? Let me see. To do that, I'm gonna use one of these. It's uh, an adjustable buck regulator. You can uh, put in 8 to 22 volts in and 1 to 15 volts out, and it's very accurate. It's got a multi-trim pot for adjustment. On the bottom here, I think they're like 5 or 6 bucks from Amazon. And uh, that's what I'm using. I'm actually using this for the voltage in my... Uh, let me get it here. My GPS oscillator. Because this has to have 11.7 between 12.9. That's for the same reason. That's due to the oven in here. Because the oven's directly connected to the 12 volt line. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much a quick update. Um, it's not really a second part. I'll go probably into this a little more in depth. And when I get it a little more neatened up. And when I have this trimmed, then I can show you the frequency output. So, anyway, if anybody has any questions, uh, post it in the comments or uh, contact me at kc2irv at gmail.com.